Welcome back to the Humble Marksman channel. I got a quick one for you guys today describing the difference in philosophy between major power factor and minor power factor. Are you ready? Stand by. So there's one thing that shows up repeatedly in Facebook groups, which I can't stand, which is when a new shooter comes and is asking about spending thousands of dollars on a new competition gun. And some guys will just say, well, just get a nine millimeter for whether it's limited or open. If you shoot alphas, it's all the same. And it's not all the same. It's very, very different. For those of you who are uninitiated, a minor power factor round is what's used in production and carry optics. And then divisions like open and limited have the option for major, which is a round that has significantly more gunpowder and significantly more recoil. And as a bonus for taming that recoil, you get one extra point for any nine perfect shot. Typically when I adjust my carry optic score using the practice score competitor app, I see that my score increases on the overall between five and 7% depending upon the match. But it's not just the extra bonus point that you get for the Charlies that really helps you out with major. It's the philosophy on how to aim for a target. So today in order to illustrate this point, I'm using the Beretta 92 LTT, a very excellent carry optics gun. The Rodeo is a beast. And for the major side of the house, we have the Bull SAS-2 Ultimate Racer, which is also a beast. So the predicament is on open targets with the minor gun, I can aim at the center of the A zone, which is where I want to aim for my major gun as well. But what I can accept with my dot on the minor gun is going to be kind of inside there. As long as I'm inside the lines of the A zone, I'm going to be generally pretty happy. But because in major, I'm not really penalized for shooting Charlies if I shoot them quickly enough, my acceptable aiming zone is kind of much bigger. It's about twice as large as what I can accept on my sight picture before I send another round. Because if I do drop one point because I shot a Charlie, it tilts much harder towards speed. It's not going to be as big a penalty. But that illustration becomes even more clear when you look at a partial target. So when I look at this partial target, if I drop the shots too low, I'm going to be penalized with minus 10 points per hit. So my hold is going to be somewhere around here for both guns. But the difference is going to be with the major gun, if I two Charlie just above the perf, I'm only dropping two points out of a possible 10. If I two Charlie with the minor gun and drop just above the perf, then all of a sudden I've left four out of a possible 10 points on the table. I will have only gotten six of 10 points with the minor gun. So just with the acceptable aiming zones on the target kind of being illustrated for you, I hope you can begin to see why major is such an advantage when you learn how to shoot your sights as in you see only what you need to see. Uh, you bite on acceptable sight pictures. The acceptable sight picture for a major gun is significantly bigger than the acceptable sight picture for a minor gun. Two Alpha. Alpha Charlie. Two Alpha. 382 versus 267. That's a two Alpha, Alpha Charlie, and Alpha Charlie. And where that really starts to come into play is when you start to shoot on the move. Because as a major shooter, you can really get moving. And if it is too Charlie because you're blasting and basically running, that's totally fine. Whereas on the carry optics gun or the other minor guns, you're really going to kind of want to slow to a crawl and make sure that you're not leaving too many points on the table. Now, obviously, the very best shooters are still going to shoot their minor guns like major guns, and it's not going to be an issue for them. But for all the rest of us, the major gun is going to have a distinct advantage over the minor gun. So next time you're hanging out in those social media groups and someone says they're all worth the same if you only shoot alphas, please show them this video. Please stop misinformation being spread to people who are spending potentially thousands of their dollars. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you want to check out a review on the Rodeo, you can do so here. And if you want to check out a review on the Bull Ultimate Racer, you can do so here. Appreciate you guys. Catch you on the next one.